Hi everyone, I'm Jen DeBerg with O'Malley Hanson Communications and member of the PR Council's Next Board, here to talk with you about networking. O'Malley Hanson is a Midwest-based agency and I work in our St. Louis office. When the PR Council asked me to create a video about a topic that interests me, I decided to talk about networking. You see, lately I've been attending a lot of industry events in other cities, um, including last month's Critical Issues Forum in Chicago. And because I'm often traveling in for these events, I'm going solo. So I've had to get comfortable networking and engaging with strangers on my own. For those of you looking to meet more people or have to go to a work event on your own, here are my four talk tips for making new connections. Number one, T, think. Networking is a lot easier when you approach it with the mindset of folks attend attending this industry event with you share a common interest, public relations. That means finding common ground is so much easier. I used to be so awkward at these meetings and finding strangers to talk to and think they don't want anything to do with me. I don't provide any value. Like what could I possibly say that would be of interest to them? Be confident and recognize that you have just as many interesting things to share as the next person. Two, always. To network, you always have to do it. And successful networking happens at every stage in your career. Starting early can pay dividends for decades. It only gets easier because as you get older, you start to become more comfortable, and two, you start to widen your circle so as you go to these events, you know more people. But as you get older, never stop networking. I've gone to some of these events and tried to engage older attendees, and I've been shut down. And I think it's because they think I have like an ulterior motive, or maybe they just don't think that they need a new connection in their life. Wrong! Some of my biggest advocates are people I've met in the past year alone. Tip number three, look. How do you find someone to talk to? I know it can be really hard to do this on your own, so it's okay to use the buddy system, but you have to put yourself out there and meet people. So if you go with a group, I really encourage you to get out of your comfort zone, step away from them, and do your own thing, even if it's just for a little bit. So how do you do it? Well, um, almost every event has some sort of station, whether it's like the name tag station, the coffee, um, the buffet, whatever that is, you're in close proximity with other people. So I try to chat up the person that's standing next to me. I might say, I've really been looking forward to this event. How about you? Or this is my first time. Any tips for a newbie? And see where that takes me. When mingling, I try to find people like me who are alone and they may be waiting for their friends or they're looking for someone to talk with. But at an industry event, it's really easy because you can talk with other people about what you're excited about learning and hearing about, and you can ask them the same. Number four is K, keep it going. And LinkedIn is a great tool to keep those connections alive when you meet people that you'd like to stay in touch with. I love when I discover that I share a random mutual connection with someone I just met. It's also great for nonverbal networking. For example, when I hear a great panelist or speaker, I'll send them a personal LinkedIn message, letting them know I really appreciated them taking time out of their day to join us and share their insight. I also try to specifically share something about their talk or conversation that really resonated with me. I know when I speak, I really appreciate feedback and encouragement, so I try to do the same. If you shared this on LinkedIn, or if they shared this on LinkedIn, that they were gonna speak at this event or that they just did this speaking engagement, I comment on that post that they did a really great job and I look forward to seeing them again. So there you have it. These are my four talk tips for networking. So the next time you see me out and about, I hope, actually I expect, that you will come and network with me. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.